Right over here at Bath and Body. Personal trash. Oh, I don't know why they. I don't know why they leave this lid open. There's one. I actually shut this darn lid. There's a whole candle in there, and it's vanilla bean and oil. Mm. All right. Yep, I knew it. Someone I knew, I know. Oh, they didn't. They didn't grab the crib. I saw all the bags out here, and I thought somebody. What the heck? I cannot believe that. Someone didn't grab. See, I don't like this guy. I don't like this, uh, pokey. Oh. Let's see something there. Um. I don't know what's going on with their uh, trash. It's the first time I've seen this where no one's uh, for a freaking whole week or so here. in this box. Okay, let's do this safely. Okay. Good. A whole organizer. Ay, ay, ay. Some forks to go in it. Raspberry shortbreads. And you can see they cut a hole in the underwear. Little brats. There's those forks. Ugh. Some glasses. I knew they threw something back there. Let's peel off masks. Nothing's in there. little box. There's the peel-off mask. Oh, look at that. And the whole Giridoli chocolates. And here's the forks. 
You saw I got spoons last time. And look at that little hole organizer. That thing's broke, but I need one anyways. Oh, and then those. It's gone. So let's see what's going on here. There's a glass there. And glass here. Okay, there's the broken one. Okay. heavy. Where the dumpster people have been. Uh, all right, guys, I think that's it. But yeah, see this thing? It bends easy. It's uh, doesn't grab things the way I like it. I like it, but. So nice little finds. Let's go see at the next place. Alright guys, I was here yesterday and they were throwing all these calendars away. So I came back because my daughter said that uh, See them anymore, darn it. See. But I did get. Oh man. I think someone came and grabbed them. Um, darn it, darn it, darn it. Um, they were the Avery Ella ones. Yesterday, a uh, oh, 
hundred dollar light lamp that they threw out. Here, let me just set these down and get my... Yeah, I scored uh, this hundred dollar lamp. Let me just grab that. And some other cute planners. And I was saying they're Avery Ella or something. I priced them out and they're like $25. Look at that guy's hole puncher. got uh, some staplers too but it looks like someone got the rest of those colors. that D and I on it, then that is a display. But I thought my GoPro was filming and it was taking pictures. So there are a couple hauls that I don't have the video for, but that's okay. Um, I hope you, you enjoyed the footage that I just showed you and we're going to go through everything and the stuff that I unfortunately wasn't able to film, but that's okay. All right, guys, so as you saw that I got all of this coffee, there was so much of it, 
And honestly, I looked on eBay and people buy this stuff up really quickly. So I just started listing it on eBay. It did expire in September, which I did list that. Um, but someone's already making offers on the coffee. So that's good because I may have tossed this and I'm glad I didn't. All right. And then there were all of these, actually. There was, I have a whole bag of them. There's probably like 50 of these little espresso um, thingies. So I haven't looked those up yet, but I'm going to. And then totally scored these Starbucks vanilla. Um, they're sugar free. These three are sugar free. I think there was one that isn't sugar free that I have in my kitchen. But yes, three of those. And I think that was all from, and that was actually from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. I thought it was from World Market, but these, the coffees were definitely from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then if you saw in that clip, I scored these this beautiful wooden bowl here. And the only thing, let's find it, was this little crack here. But the bowl is still beautiful, and I looked it up, and it's, I think it was 30 bucks for that guy. And then this score of this beautiful ice bucket, and it has the little scooper. And if you can see, there's this little crack here, but, um, you know, we'll just... I'm still going to use it or put it for decor on like top of my cabinet or something. But if you can see, it was originally a hundred dollars and on sale for 50 bucks. So yes, two awesome finds from Bed Bath & Beyond. All right. And then I went over and I was peeking at Party City and they were throwing away this whole bag, unopened, 150 pieces that and then this bag of chocolate M&Ms. So yeah, those two items were from Party City. And then you saw the clip from Burlington. So scored these uh, forks. I think there's eight, eight here. Actually, it might not be six. So six forks. And then this looks like it shows it's for a guy, I think, but yes, because it's called the Nobleman, but uh, I can use it. I love masks, so it has uh, three here, black mask, tea, tree mask, and a gold mask. And then this bag of Giardelli chocolates. Then also was these three, I think one was broke, so I just washed these and... They're just like cute little, like little rocks glasses, probably for cocktails. And then actually the other day I was uh, at Bed Bath & Beyond and this was the only thing I found in the one place I went, but I just washed it. So it's wet here, but it's called Anchor. And it's cute for uh, making, you know, breads and stuff like banana bread or whatever. But yeah, that was a cute little dish. Nothing was wrong with it. No cracks or anything then you guys funny I found this at Bed Bath & Beyond and I didn't know for the life of me what it was and as you can see they spray painted it um so I looked it up and it's a knife cleaner I'm like how cool is that so yeah so you can put your knives in there and it cleans them so I um, have it in my sink and I've been using it uh, but yeah so that's what that was and that company I looked it up was Joseph Joseph. So yeah, found that. And then uh, you saw the Bed Bath & Beyond. I scored this candle here and I looked it up here. It was uh, called Hot Cocoa and Scream. So yeah, got uh, a full candle there. And then this uh, body wash from Bath & Body was Japanese cherry blossom. So it was this tube of shea butter and coconut oil. So nice little finds there. Um, and then I was over by this hair salon. It's the hair salon and a Bath & Body. They share a dumpster. And they were throwing away these full bottles of this uh, Shimmer Lights, which is 
a purple shampoo for blonde hair, and then this full bottle by Eva and um, New York NYC. I looked this up, and uh, this is a really good company. But these are two full bottles, and so when I looked, this one was showing it just expired. So that's why they threw it away. But um, yeah, so those were two. Actually, there's a third bottle, but I think it's still in my car. But yeah, so I scored three big bottles of this, which was a nice find. And yeah, I mean, this is a 31.5 fluid ounce. And this one is 33.8 fluid ounce. So yeah, a couple nice things there. And then I totally forgot to show you guys in my last video from um, TJ, TJ Maxx. But... This salt and pepper shaker, I love that pink Himalayan salt. My daughter likes that as well. And then this really cute mirror here. Look at that pretty crystal detail. And the only problem was it was cracked on that side. So it's okay. I'm either going to remove the glass and just use it on that side or whatever. But yeah, so nice, nice finds there. And then this leash that I found from, uh, I think it was Pet, this was Petco, I think. But yeah, works totally fine. I found one a couple videos ago, and for the life of me, I couldn't get it to work. It was locked. I even looked at videos on how to open these things, and it's like, it's a whole freaking ordeal. They do, these companies do not make this easy. They have to know that these things get locked up sometimes, and they should just make it to where these open up. But anyways, I had to toss that one, and this one works perfect. So yeah, definitely going to get use out of that. All right, so then I was at Ulta, you guys, and those of you that know Ulta know that they destroy everything in one box, and it's just a whole mess of soup. It's just disgusting. But I had seen that one box they had thrown away, they didn't fully, like, um, destroy everything, or they didn't squirt everything out of the bottles. So, you guys, this right here is Lancome, and it is, uh, I looked this up, this bottle right here is a hundred, and I think it was thirteen dollars. This one container, and I can tell that it's still half full. I was using it last night and I just can't, I just can't believe it. It's a $113. And then this uh, brush, which you can see it was attached to the display. So I just ripped it off um, and cleaned this up. As you can see, it's wet right here because I washed and scrubbed everything last night. Um, and then by Too Faced, this Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. Um, I didn't look up the price on that, but Too Faced is, is pricey as well. And then this Fountain and Truth, uh, Good Day Souffle. This, I can tell, probably has about a quarter left in it. Um, but even this is like, still really has a lot of product in it. Um, but I think this was like $30 or something like that. But yeah, file got uh, scored these four items here. Very nice. I'm just so impressed with that. So happy they didn't squirt all the product out. All right. So the next I went over to Five Below and I pulled out these uh, wireless headphones. So there's two here. I don't know if they work. I'm going to check them out here in a bit and, and see what why they were returned but and then this cute for kids um spider-man headphone and then uh another one of these car mounts for the smartphones funny because i found one of these uh, a few videos back and it had a missing uh, little plastic thingy there and um i still had it in my car but it it's not as functional so this one has all of the the parts so I'm excited to uh, to use that then we have this aroma diffuser and it's uh, it says LED color changing again I don't know if this works or not but I am gonna 
check these out here in a bit and see if they work. But those were the items that I found from Five Below. And then, you guys, you saw the clip of the daily planners. So I had went to this office depot. I was with my daughter. We were running errands. And I found this little strip mall. And it was an area that I don't frequent. So we went and checked it out. And they were throwing away all of these planners. But I, once we were in the car driving, and then my daughter saw these these Ivory Ella, she's like, Mom, these are really expensive. And then I looked it up, and this planner is $25. This one was $19.99, and this goes until July. So these are actually really nice. So there's still like, what, eight, nine months left on these calendars, but so very nice. So I was going to use the big one. My daughter was going to take this little one, and... Uh, so then I was like, oh, I think there was more of these Ivory Ella. So I went back the next morning and it looked like people had rummaged through it. But um, I scored this one, which was really cute. It has like these little stickers. And again, there's still a lot of months left uh, for these. Let's see. And then there was that one. And then this cute little pocketbook size one for your purse, um, these little makeup ones, this uh, pink one here, and then these two, and that guy, and this one. So yeah, you guys, scored all of these. I'm going to list them for sale, and... Like I said, there's still still some good months of use out of that. Um, and then this cute pink tape holder. Just nothing wrong with it. They just threw it away. And then this uh, hole puncher. So, yeah, you guys. I'm like, with some really nice finds. And then uh, this little credential holder. Kind of like the lanyard or whatnot but yeah and it was here in the package still and everything um and then the last thing i found was from bosch and mom all these box filled with a uh, lens cleaner so it was really awesome but uh the last thing that i found there you guys was this freaking awesome light you guys look at this it's like an awesome little dimmer here, so you can just use your finger and, and adjust the light. So this was in the um, Office Depot, and I brought it home, and I'm like, oh, it probably doesn't work. Plugged it in, and it totally works. It Everything is fine, and guess how much this thing was? $99. $99, and there's nothing wrong with it. There is nothing wrong with it. I was just so happy. And again, it's just funny because I was just telling my daughter that I just fixed up my whole little desk area. And I like to do work at night. And that little area is dark. And I'm like, you know, I really need to get a desk lamp. And Lord and behold, there was a desk lamp. So yeah, guys, so this is everything. I'm going to show you the next clip. Last night I was out and about and I stopped over at Burlington and scored a whole grab bag and I just threw the bag in my car and then a couple other things from PetSmart. So I'm going to show you guys that next. Okay, everyone, I am back. Let's finish this. Um, so this was... In the box, if you saw in the clip at Bed Bath and Beyond, and this was in a box like they were, this was mailed to Bed Bath and Beyond, maybe for their display, but I'm not sure what's going on. But it turns on, and then you have the clean and gum health deep cleaner. So I I don't know, but it's attached here. Um, my daughter has um, one of these, so I'm going to take this off and put it on the charger 
uh, her charger and see, but I'm not sure if any of you guys out there know um, other divers have ever found anything like this as far as a display and know if this is um, works or not, if it even has like the brains in it. I don't know if it's just set to for display mode, so to speak. But anyways, I'm going to do a little investigating myself. But if any of you do know, please leave a comment down below. I would really like uh, your opinion on that. All right, and then um, they're always throwing away their broken Brita uh, pictures. So I have been snagging a couple that I find and taking the filter out because I have a Brita. So those filters can be pricey. And then you guys check this out. How cool is this? This little thing was like a little compact like this and then it, it shut. I don't want to shut it because I'm not going to be able to open it with one hand. But it, let me turn it around here so I can turn it on because I put the batteries in it. Look at this, you guys, and it goes up and down, and it sits up like this, and it's just like a portable mirror to do your makeup or whatever, but I did price this um, on Bed Bath & Beyond, and this thing was $40, $40 for this cute little thing, and it comes like that, and it works perfect, and it had different colors on their website. But yeah, so nice score there. I didn't know what it was at first, and it was a weird maneuvering it to open. But um, yeah, cute thing. I love that. All right, so that was all from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, and then I was saying last night I stopped over by Burlington, and their dumpsters get dumped that day. So I normally don't check, but I peeked, and they threw one big bag of stuff away. So I threw it in my car, and this is what it was. This um, iPhone, iPad, two-port home charger, USB cable with lighting, lightning connector. So I am not sure anything about this, but I'm gonna. my daughter has an iPhone, so I'm going to let her try that. Then this cute little guy. Oh, this is such a cute idea. I wish I would have thought about this stuff when my daughter was little. And it just said that it was out of the package and dirty. Um, since it was out of the package and it is a uh, pacifier. But I am going to clean it up and it is so cute. The little animal is attached to the pacifier. Oh, it is just the cutest thing ever. And this little animal is so soft. So I am going to clean that up and maybe see if I can donate it or something. Um, and then they had this little thing of makeup, and it is still sealed, so it hasn't been open or anything, so I'm not sure about that. All right, and then just this cute little earrings, a uh, little starfish, whatnot, for $4.99. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I think the back to the earring was gone, so they just tossed it. What a waste. All right, and then they had this a dog brush and this hairbrush. Um, not sure, but those were in there. Then this cute little guy here, and it uh, turns around. So I thought my daughter can use that for like her makeup stuff. And it's, this was the only thing with some little damage there, but it still functions. And my daughter has a huge makeup vanity so I'm like that would be cute for her so she can have that and then one of these uh, that goes in the shower and connects to your Bluetooth uh, speaker for music and it's all in here I don't know if it works um, I do have one in my shower I never use it but um, I'll see if this works and if it does uh, my daughter will like it and I don't know, this was just the only little baby thing, but how stinking cute is this? I mean, look at how small these are. This is for a preemie. And it's just the little bottoms, but they are just adorable. So tiny. All right, and then some of these Squidward uh, meh uh, little socks. It looks like it just had a little thing there, so I can snip that off, but cute, cute socks. All right, and then they had all these kids' uh, slippers. They were attached to this. I guess the robe was gone, but 
cute slippers so I am actually I'm gonna donate these um, some kid could get use out of those but yeah got that and then look at these boots you guys and it says they're a size seven and a half they were $16.99 there was just a little dirt there but I'm gonna clean that all off uh, but when I take my dogs for a walk and stuff I like to slip on boots and it showed their uh, company is mud brand new everything still attached the wires and all of the connectors but yeah perfect and they fit me uh, perfectly so that worked out and then there was this monster jam truck it looks like there's just some damage there but the truck is perfect so I'm gonna donate that some boy will get will love that um, and look at how cute this uh, snowman um, soap and uh, let's see cranberry apple so it's a soap and hand lotion and the only thing that was wrong was that was broke but I'm just gonna take that off and these are just so cute and if you've seen my other videos I have told you guys I love snowman everything um, during Christmas that's kind of like my decor so it was cute that I found that all right and then next was this purse you guys look at how nice this is this whole purse nothing is wrong with it it even shows the attached some sticker here it was $22.99 but how nice is this and nothing wrong at all so I'm not sure why that was dumped but it was and then right here it looks like it's um a slim slimming thing it's an extra large uh, zips up here and um, yeah so I don't know I see if I can sell it or something but that was in there and then the last two items you guys were this boys coat look how cute this is um, I think I checked, oh, this was the only thing. Had a little spot there. Big deal. And I don't know if that's right. $5.99? I don't know if that's right for a coat. But um, I'm definitely going to donate this. And um, so someone can get use out of that. And then the last was this coat, you guys. Um, this is a little girl's coat. And... I forgot what side it said, size, but DKNY, the only thing is there's no zipper. So I am going to, I'm going to call around and see if people put on zippers. I don't know. You guys can leave me um, your opinion down below, but I am going to figure out how to get this fixed because this can be donated to a little girl and it's so soft and the pink inside is so cute and this coat is just too cute. So I am not going to give up on it. So I'm going to find out how to get that fixed. And then you guys, oh, and this was in the, um, the clip I showed you of the Burlington. I found this uh, organizer for silverware and stuff. I already have one, but I have a bigger drawer that needs another one. So that worked out. The only thing was this little crack there, and who cares? So I'm going to get use out of that. And then the last thing, you guys, was uh, at PetSmart. They were throwing these away, and there's three of them. So I didn't know what, I mean, I have a generalized idea what it was, but I like to look everything up and see, uh, read everything about it. So I found these, and this company, Top Paw, um, it's a, a slow feeder for dogs who eat fast. So you put the food there, and you can even put like peanut butter here, stuff like that for dogs. Um, and then their water bowl right here. So very interesting. And I think uh, I did price these out when I looked them up. I think they might have said $19.99 each. But um, I am definitely going to donate these. And um, yeah. And I know I was talking about, so I, I finally found a Facebook group that talks, um, gives info on every state for those pantries that you can just walk up and put f donations of food in there. Um, they're like a, uh, a prayer uh, box or a donation box, something like that. But um, I ended up finding a couple, 
and I'm not sure if they're actual boxes or just donation drop-offs, but I am going to inquire a little more. I'm going to drive by them um, some point this week, and hopefully it is what I think it is, and so I can start putting food donations in there and whatnot. So I'm ex excited about that. But all right, guys, so that is everything. What an awesome, awesome week. Stay tuned for more videos. If you guys enjoyed this, please, please give this a thumbs up. It really helps my channel when you guys um, interact with the thumbs up and leaving comments. It, it really helps me, and I, I do appreciate you guys, and I love all of you. You guys are wonderful, and so stay tuned for uh, more videos. Have a great day, guys.